What comes to mind when you think of tattoos? Unprofessional, immoral, cool, valuable? Body art has always been a vibrant part of culture around the world and has existed for thousands of years. Since the days of primitive man, who was tattooed with a picture of his first lion killed to prove his coming of age, tattoos have remained a sign of toughness. People have always liked the idea of making their body a canvas for self-expression. I never really cared much for tattoos, but I saw them everywhere, and I always wondered why they get such a bad rap. But over the years, I've realized that maybe I shouldn't judge them without first getting to understand them a bit better. So, with several questions in mind, I set out on an adventure. Instead of observing from afar, I took a chance to get up close and personal with tattoos. Oh no, I didn't get one, but my girlfriend did, and I tagged along. And today on Rich Perspectives, we're exploring the often misunderstood, but amazing art of tattooing. In today's video, we're heading to East London to Old Habits Tattoo, one of the best known and highly rated tattoo shops in London. Our appointment today is with expert freehand tattoo artist Ryan Jessiman, who has been in this line of work for 13 years. I like to think of him as a master of freehand tattooing. So, uh, long story short, I got into tattoos because my father had them. Passed away when I was younger. Always wanted them. Uh, I ended up getting tattoos. And, um, they asked me where I was getting tattooed. They asked me if I wanted to answer the phone and mop the floor twice mm -hmm. a week because they liked me. And then um, my sister wanted to get tattooed. Yeah. And. I said uh, I wouldn't be able to do it because I thought tattooing was completely unattainable. And she said, why? I said, because I can't draw. And she said, you can learn how to draw. It's the ideas you can't learn and you seem to have plenty of those. So I ended up teaching myself how to draw. I'm still doing it because I can't draw yet. <laughs> no, I, I feel like um, I intend on carrying on progressing. I hope I don't master tattooing because then there'll be no room for progression. So what exactly is freehand tattooing and how is it done? Well, after getting an idea of what design the client wants, the tattoo artist will come up with an original piece specifically for the client. Then they'll begin to draw the design on the part where the tattoo will go using markers. The cool thing about this is that you can use the curves of the body to enhance the design, since it is being freely drawn. When everybody is happy, it's time for the tattoo. At this point, you may be wondering about whether all of this is actually sanitary. I mean, it is needles and ink going in your skin, so it's a valid concern. Luckily, I was able to chat very briefly with one of the tattoo artists as they were wrapping up the sanitation process. What's going on here is the cleaning of the tattoo tubes, which the ink passes through. 
After use, these are washed and sealed in sterilization pouches before going into this autoclave for further disinfection. The tattoo needles themselves are discarded and eventually incinerated. How long would you say this process takes you? Depends how many tubes. Depends how many tubes. Yeah. Like when it's really busy, it can take quite a long time. And we do it like three times a week. Three times a week, okay. Because obviously the guys will, they use these and they're quite expensive. Yeah. So you don't want to have, you don't want to spend money having like 30 of them. Yeah. So if you're tattooing multiple days a week, I need them to be clean so you can then mm -hmm. use them the next day. Yeah. As Ryan was busy tattooing, I went to have a chat with two of the other tattoo artists about their work and creative process. I find a lot of imagery um, everywhere, you know? So even if I'm walking down the street and there's patterns on tiles that I really like, I'll take a photo and then go back to it later and adjust mm -hmm. things from there. Um, from everyone who I work with as well, because um, everyone's constantly creating. so. It, I don't know, it inspires you to continuously be making more as well. Right, yeah. Um, and then not just in tattooing, but then with the publishing company that we have as well, mm. like getting in touch with other artists. Right, yeah. Um, I don't know, it just widens what you see all the time, yeah. which is cool. Yeah, just anything that is aesthetically interesting or ugly or... Um, Effective in some way. Boldness is inspiring. So why did you start? Uh, why did you get into tattoos? Like, what was it that drove you to become a tattoo artist? Um, <laughs> I don't really know. Actually. The creativity that it brings. Yeah, maybe that's it. Yeah. It's like a good outlet to good outlet, express yeah. yourself. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, and slash people. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's always crazy to me when people come to you to put a mark on their skin that's going to be with them permanently. Mm -hmm. And that to me is just, uh, it's, it's always blows my mind, right, you know? Because yeah. uh, it's such an intimate thing. And then to also share your work with other people who mm -hmm. resonate with it so much that mm -hmm. they're like, I'm happy to look at it forever. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's really special. Mm. Also what you were saying about uh, things that are ugly, I mm. find it interesting to play with that as well. Uh, like one of, uh, one, of the, one of the books that I really like is by someone called Rosie. Okay. And the drawings are super rough, mm. but they're just something so charming and interesting about it right, that you yeah. really get drawn in. Mm. So that's cool. So there's something interesting about turning something that would be considered ugly yeah. into art that yeah. is actually permanent. Mm -hmm. Because I, I, even when I was studying, I was always, I was always kind of asking myself, what is art? Mm. Like, because it's so different for yeah. so many people. Mm -hmm. And I, like, say for example, when I used to go to galleries, um, I'd always be drawn to the very small paintings and mm. things like that. And people were always drawn to like big, big realism ones. and you know, old masters. Yeah. You know. Uh, so I thought that was really interesting. I guess that is the point of being an artist, you know, like yeah. trying to find art in like a anywhere, really. Yeah. No matter how like ugly or beautiful it is, yeah. like you can always make it something mm -hmm. to be appreciated. Okay, cool. Yeah. Last question I have. <laughs> what are some myths about tattoos that you would like to dispel? Or what are some misconceptions you think people have? That they're for other people, I guess. They're for yourself, really. Your own mm -hmm. journey. For me, it's a sort of really old-fashioned attitude to it, where it's like, you can't have a professional job, mm. you know? Um, like, I have a background of working in schools, mm -hmm. and tattoos were just not a thing. Right, yeah. And I, I always used to be like, well, kids are going to see them around Eventually, the world, yeah. you know? And it's, I have tattoos, but it doesn't stop me from doing a yeah. good job. Yeah. Um, that would really used to annoy me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> After a couple of hours, the tattoo is done, and I thought it looked incredible. The best thing about this is that this pattern was produced completely from Ryan's mind. No tracing, no reference images, just imagination and creativity. 
And that to me is the beauty of freehand tattooing. A lot of people think that tattoos are like uh, devil worship almost or like, you know, marking your body is uh, it's not something to be encouraged or it's, it's usually affiliated with a lot of evil stuff, which isn't necessarily true. So, yeah, what would you say about that? I would say that tattooing tattoos themselves have probably been around a lot longer than those ideas. Yeah. Tattoos, I think, can be like gargoyles on the church. Some mm -hmm. people wear tattoos that represent the dark or the shadow, whatever you want to call it, in order to keep it away. Mm. And some people have a have a an idea of what this uh, idea of Satan, Satan worshiping, and I think people get it because they like this idea. Um, I got tattoos because my father had them, and he's dead, so I have some symbols of death on me but it's not because I'm morbid but more as a reminder to make the most of where I am mm. and being alive. Right. I noticed you have a lot of books yeah. in your shop. Yeah. What's the reason for that? Do you just like to read or does it inspire you, give you a few ideas for designs or do you just like having books around? I started tattooing when internet research wasn't as prevalent as it is now mm. um, so books were where you found a reference right. and um, there are still a lot of reference um, that can inspire you not necessarily directly so you can see in it I can see an image sometimes and get that feeling from it and that feeling will translate into a design but it won't necessarily look anything like it mm. and I think books especially because they're tangible uh, it's a little bit easier to get that feeling than rather through a screen right. okay thank you very much You're I welcome. appreciate it tattooing really is not just about having graphic art on the body it's more about symbolism and innovation the expression of which differs from person to person what impressed me about the team at Old Habits was their professionalism their friendliness, and the dedication to their work. To me, this whole experience is a vivid reminder of the versatility of art and what people are capable of creating when they embrace a unique perspective of life. Mm -hmm.